investigation. The bombers are believed to have gone Those avalanche guys are unbelievable. Man. How about it? You I really, really enjoyed my tour of the ship. What? Furthermore, the mission report confirmed that terrorists were coordinating their efforts. You scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great, I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Huh? My lights have been on the- Got any spare machine parts? We could always run away, right? Buckle up! Run! 
Taking a Easy little to break. Try this. Don't close your. I should probably heal up first. Lend me your strength. Bless them. You're still doing okay, right? <gasps> this must be it. Hey, you wanna say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. A revelation that has left many citizens shaken. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying, and then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. 
All right. But don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Because I command a very good salary. Hey, my house is this way. They won't target us now, just to be right? right? As more information about their involvement comes to mind. Patrol. There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Did you know? thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Intel submissions. He promised to take me to see the man. Hey, you're that Merc, right? What kind of materia are you looking for?
leaving already? Isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. You could see the sky? When is it gonna be One day, I wanna grow up and be just like Jessica. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back! I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. We're all counting on you to save our hideout. We're always looking for new recruits. So I heard that there's this really hot work here. P 
piece of cake. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... Then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Biggs gave me a bunch of favorites. Here 
Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. He doesn't see me, be quiet. Well, hey, what do you think? Do, do I have what it takes? Oh, hey Cloud, you're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Yeah. You can do it! No holding back.
I heard there's something going around. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ugh. That rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <laughs> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. What? Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. Far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marae. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. He changed so much after his parents passed away. If I were you, I'd talk to Marae. If anyone knows anything, it'd definitely be her. Young man, are you a soldier? What's that? The guardian angel of the slums? Come to think of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? <laughs> Even if I knew something, I wouldn't tell you. To folks around here, the angel is a hero. I ain't selling her out to Shinra. Those were good times. You need to do something like Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Just wait outside with the reporter. I'll be along soon. 
Here's your go. It's always a pleasure to speak with those charming little So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. You're dead. That's it! over. Was never in doubt. Punch through. Right, we gotta hurry. <laughs> Best do it right. Yeah! <laughs> 
off a bit?
Stay back! You're out of luck. I won't be Stay back, or sniff the breeze. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell them what we found. one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time, he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning! If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. I made a promise to... Try taking after him. You could see the sky? You give me Gil, I give you items.
Later. Money. That's all you kids think about. Not a whit of generosity or selflessness. I may as well keep working till the day I die. People are talking about you. You've got one hell of a reputation. See you soon. Interviewed earlier today, his parents died in the war. Will attack you. Anti war. They crossed the line.